Hi there! I'm going to show you how you can quickly create and upgrade virtual machines with the Gandhi command line interface. To replicate what you're going to see here, you'll need to install the Gandhi command line interface executable and have hosting credits available in your Gandhi account. Let's get started with Gandhi VM Create. We've just asked Gandhi to create a virtual machine. By default, it'll have the minimal configuration. One CPU core, 256 megabytes of RAM, three gigabytes of disk, and one 100 megabit IPv4 and an IPv6 interface. As I didn't specify what operating system to install, Gandhi has chosen a sensible default, the latest Debian 7 64-bit. Gandhi offers many flavors of Linux and gives you the ability to use your own kernels. Once I get the VM I want, I can just install the pieces that my app needs to run and save the snapshot for easy reuse. Now let's say you're in the process of fine-tuning a snapshot to deploy your web app in production. This is usually a time-consuming process where you'll have to create and destroy virtual servers many times to find the right cost-to-performance ratio. But thanks to Gandhi's hot scaling and command line interface, we'll find the right mix with just a few commands. In a little over a minute, I gain access to a full-featured virtual machine in the cloud. And boom, we're in. Let's install HTOP so that we can inspect the machine's memory and CPU cores. Notice how I have the expected 256 megabytes of RAM and one CPU core. My web app will need at least 512 megabytes of RAM and a couple of CPU cores. So I'll update the VM's config in another terminal. First, let's run Gandhi VM list to check the host name of our new VM. Looks like the name is this temporary name. And then we can update it with Gandhi VM update. Let's give it 512 megabytes of RAM and two cores. In about 30 seconds, without needing to reboot, my VM will have enough power to run my app. Notice how the amount of RAM increases in real time in HTOP. Let's launch HTOP again on the VM so that it refreshes the number of cores, too. And success! As you can see, I was able to upgrade my VM with a single command, and I can keep doing it over and over again until I'm satisfied with the result or I can use other tools to change the settings for me whenever necessary. Launching, updating, and deleting VMs is just one of the many awesome things you can do with Gandhi's command line interface. Run Gandhi on your terminal to see the full list of commands at your disposal. Have fun!